Hi everyone, it's me Teacher Jay and welcome back to our channel. So for today, ang pag-aaralan po natin ay Properties of Proportion. Last time, ang in-upload ko na video ay about ratio and proportions. So ngayon, pag-aaralan natin yung ano yung mga properties ng proportion. So we have here the fundamental rule of proportion. If W is to X as Y is to Z, then, W over X is equal to Y over Z, provided X and Z must not be equal to 0. Kasi kapag yung X at saka Z natin ay 0, magiging undefined yung ating proportion. Okay? So, again, this is the fundamental rule of proportion. And we have here the properties of proportion. If W over X is equal to y over z. Ito yung ginamit ko. Then, w is to z, or w times z, is equal to x times y, provided x and z must not be equal to 0. So, tingnan nyo po natin ito. w times z, so yan, is equal to x times y. So, this property is what we call the cross multiplication property. Next, if W over X is equal to Y over Z, then W over Y is equal to X over Z. So, tingnan nyo po ano yung nangyari dun sa ating proportion. Provided X, Y, Z must not be equal to 0. So, this property of proportion is what we call alternation property. So, parang ginawa niya, W over Y is equal to X over Z. So, parang alternate. Ano po? So, that is what we call alternation property. Next, if W over X is equal to Y over Z, then, tinan niyo po yung nangyari dito, X over W so, parang binaliktad lang, ano? Is equal to y or z over y. So, parang binaliktad ulit. Provided w, x, y, and z must not be equal to 0. So, dito, nang, sa nangyari dito, binaliktad po niya, this is what we call inverse property. So, yun po yung ibig sabihin ng inverse property of proportion. Next property, if W over X is equal to Y over Z, then W plus X all over X is equal to Y plus Z all over Z, provided X and Z must not be equal to zero. So, tingnan nyo yung nangy nangyari sa ating proportion or dun sa property ng proportion. This property, we call this one as addition property. So, parang ang ginawa niya, in niya yung W plus X over X is equal to Y plus Z over Z. Yung tinatawag natin na addition property. Next, if W over X is equal to y over z, then w minus x over x is equal to y minus z over z, provided x and z must not be equal to 0. So, kagaya parang lang dun sa addition property, kaya lang minus po yung nandito. Okay? So, this is what we call subtraction property. Next, we have three ratios here. If u over v is equal to w over x is equal to y over z, then it is equal to, equal siya sa, u plus w plus y all over v plus x plus z. And that is equal to k. Ano yung ibig sabihin ng k? K is a constant of proportionality, provided V 
x and z must not be equal to 0. So, ang tawag natin sa proper, property na ito ay sum property. So, sir, as, uh, kung ginamit po ba namin yan lahat ay the same yung sagot po na makukuha namin. Yes po, kapag ginamit nyo yung just like cross multiplication property, tapos ginamit mo yung addition property, same lang yung magiging sagot mo. Okay, and for this time, i-apply po natin yung anim na properties sa pagsasolve ng proportion. Okay, and tingnan natin kung magiging isa lang yung sagot nila. Okay, usually ang ginagamit natin sa pagsasolve ng proportion ay yung cross multiplication property. Yun na yung kadalasan na ginagamit natin, which is correct naman. Okay? Ang gagawin lang natin ngayon is to apply the different properties of proportion. Tingnan natin kung isa lang yung sagot nila. Okay, unahin natin sa cross multiplication property. So, ito yung original na proportion. A over 2 is equal to B over 3. So, pag ginamit natin si cross multiplication property, magiging 3 times A, tama, that is 3A is equal to 2 times b, that is equal to 2b. So, yun yung sagot natin sa cross-multiplication property or yung sagot natin dun sa ating uh, uh, pag in natin yung cross-multiplication property. Okay? Next is alternation property. So, how to use alternation property or how to apply alternation property. Okay, so, ang pag in natin yung alternation, magiging a- over B, alternate po, ano? A over B is equal to 2 over 3. Okay? And then, para masolve natin yan, gagamitan natin ng cross multiplication property. Okay? 3 times A, that is equal to 3A. Is equal to 2 times B, that is equal to 2B. So, ang, ang sagot natin is 3A is equal to 2B. So, tingnan natin, uh, tama yung, yung sagot natin dun sa cross multiplication property at saka dito sa alternation property. Let's have another property which is inverse property. So, how to apply, how to apply inverse property? So, kapag inverse, babalik ta rin lang po natin, kagaya po dun sa diniscuss natin kanina. So, this is 2 over A is equal to 3 over B. Okay? So, again, 2 over A is equal to 3 over B. And then, to solve this one, cross multiplication, okay? So, 3 times A, that is equal to 3A. And then, 2 times B, that is equal to 2B. So, ang sagot natin dyan is 3A is equal to 2B. So, tama yung sagot natin dun sa dalawang property na ginamit natin. Okay, let's have another property which is addition property. So, to use this property, yung diniscuss natin kanina which is A plus 2 over 2 is equal to B plus 3 all over 3. And then, we are going to use cross multiplication property. So, 3 times a plus 2 or 3 times the quantity A plus 2 is equal to 2 times the quantity B plus 3. So, again, ang ginamit ko dito ay cross multiplication property. Next, simplify natin ito. 3 times A plus 2, that is 3A plus 6 is equal to 2 times the quantity B, B plus 3 is equal to 2B plus 6. And then, uh, by subtraction property of equality, or simply uh, transpose positive 6 here to left side, or to right side, so magiging 6 minus 6 na po, so magiging 0 po ito. Tama? And then we have 3A is equal to 2B. So this is our answer po. Okay? So, tingnan natin yung sagot po natin dito and then same dun sa ibang properties na ginamit po natin. Let's have subtraction property. 
So, to use this property, okay, so we have A minus 2 over 2 is equal to B minus 3 over 3. And then again, we are going to use cross multiplication property. So, this is 3 times the quantity A minus 2 is equal to 2 times the quantity P minus 3. Then simplify this one, 3 times the quantity A minus 2, we have 3A minus 6. So 3 times A, that is 3A. 3 times negative 2, that is negative 6. Is equal to 2 times B, that is equal to 2B. And then 2 times negative 3, that is negative 6. And then simply uh, transpose negative 6 here to right side. Magiging ano po yan? Magiging 6 plus 6. Or negative 6 plus 6. So magiging 0 po ito. So we have 3A is equal to 2B na lang. So this is our answer po. So tingnan natin ano. Uh, same yung answer natin dun sa ibang properties. Let's have the last property of proportion. This is the sum property. So to use this property, so this is now the original proportion. A over 2 is equal to B over 3. And this is equal to A plus B all over 2 plus 3. And this is equal to K where K is the constant of proportionality. Okay? Then, to solve for, uh, to use this property para maging uh, the same yung answer natin dun sa ibang properties na ginamit natin, uh, let's use this one since equal silang lahat. Gamitin muna natin si A over 2 is equal to A plus B over 2 plus 3. Okay? And then, we all know that 2 plus 3 here is equal to 5. Okay? Sir, bakit ganun? So, kasi nga, equal po yung A plus, over 2 is equal to A plus B over 2 plus 3. Okay? And then, uh, simplify natin yan by using cross multiplication property. So, 5 times A, that is 5A, is equal to 2 times the quantity A plus B. And then, simplify natin ito. So, this is 5A is equal to 2 times A plus B, that is 2A plus 2B. Then, combining like terms, or simply transpose uh, like positive 2A here to left side, magiging 5 min 5A minus 2A. So, that, that is equal to 3A is equal to 2B. So, ito yung sagot po natin. Okay, so tama yung sagot po natin. Um... Uh, Dito sa property na ito, dun sa ibang properties, which is 3A is equal to 2B. Let's have another one. Try natin yung B over 3 is equal to A plus B over 5. Okay? And then, we are going to use cross multiplication property. And then, B times 5, that is equal to 5B, is equal to... 3 times the quantity quantity uh, A plus B. And that is 5B is equal to 3 times A. Or 3 times the quantity A plus B. That is 3A plus 3B. And then combining like terms. Or simply transpose positive 3B here to left side. Magiging 5B minus 3B na yan. So that is 2B. Tama? Is equal to 3A. Or this one is 3A or... 3B, this is 3A, right? Okay, so this is 3A is equal to 2B. So, the same lang yung sagot natin dun sa mga ibang properties ng proportion. So, that is on how to use or to apply the properties of proportions. So, kapag may tanong po kayo, you can type your questions po sa ating comment section. Keep safe and God bless.